hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our villager profession houses this is mythical sausage how is everybody doing oh man we're back again doing another tutorial and today we're going right for that grindstone and we're going to be making an awesome weapon smith's house this is going to be so much fun i got a really cool idea but before we get into that let's go ahead and check out everything we built so far and if you guys want to check any of the previous builds we've done just check the link in the description there's a playlist go ahead and go back to any one of these they're all in there so let's take a look Here's the farmer's house, the fisherman, the librarian, the shepherd. Hey, shepherd, turn around real quick. The cleric, the armorer, the fletcher, and the cartographer. All right, and here we go with the dimensions. So there we go, all the blocks laid out, count them out. It's all set up for you. The way we're gonna set this up is on the left side, it's gonna be our living area. We're gonna have a little bit of a workstation. And on the right side, you see these three little pods over here. This is gonna be for the weapons. This is where the weaponsmith displays all the weapons they're selling. And it's gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna be a little bit of a market connected to the actual uh, weaponsmith's house, which is really awesome. Over here is gonna be a little way in and uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. So let's set this up. We're gonna be using Using our basic Minecraft blocks like we've been using in this series. So we're just going to go with oak logs, some spruce, and a little bit of uh, stone for the base. So I want to elevate this at least by one. Uh, so let's get started. Let's actually start here on this corner. I'm going to give it a little bit of an oak log trim. So let's start right here and take it up. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's go ahead and put just for now cobble. One, two, three, four, five. Right here in this corner, I'm going to go up by six as well. Turn this corner with cobble, one, two, three, four, five. And right here, we're gonna take this one also up by six. I'm gonna put a piece of cobble on this corner and then take it all the way down. So another, well, this is the one. So two, three, four, five. And right here in this corner, take it up also by six, matching that bit. I'm gonna go with cobble, one, two, and three. Take this one also up by six. I'm gonna take cobble one here. And then these is gonna be, you know, uh, we can go ahead and put cobble on the top, but I wanna make this elevated so we can get in. That's gonna be our front door. And then go another two. So one, two, three, four, five right here. Uh, for this corner for now, let's just put a little uh, two by two box so you know exactly where the fireplace is gonna go. We're gonna shoot it up to the middle and that's gonna look pretty nice. Over here, we're just gonna go down one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, just like so. And then let's take it from here. Another one, two, three, and four. Give it a space of three. One, two, three, and four. Another space of three. Down by four. Another space of three here. And down by four. Next thing, let's go up right here to this front part. And I'm gonna be mixing a bunch of spruce on this one. So we're just gonna go up with spruce here. One, two, three, four. Let's go up one, two, three, and four. Right here, we're gonna go with a full block. Over here, we're gonna go with an upside down stair, and we're gonna cross beam right at this level, just like that. We're gonna take this corner down this way. Let's just cover this whole thing up. One, two, three, and four. Let's go all the way up with spruce, and then we're going to cross beam right at this level. Same thing over here. Let's go ahead and just cover this whole thing up. We'll put windows and everything after. We'll do a little bit of texturing with some of the strips, and let's just cover everything up right here with spruce. Same thing on this side, cover this whole thing up. And then we're gonna also do a little cross beam right here at this level. Now for here, this is what we're gonna do. Let's continue this side over here. Let's go one, two, three, and four. Take this all the way up. And then also cross beam on the top, just like this. Now, right at this uh, edge, just take this um, little fireplace up again. So this is already a one. Let's go two, three, four, five, six. Let's leave it at seven for now. Now, right here, we're gonna take this cross beam, we're gonna go all the way down, and it's gonna to touch the corner of that um, little fireplace chimney there. Also gonna take this one down, and this is gonna cross right here, connecting also to the corner of that fireplace there. Now, we got this going. Let's keep lifting these blocks up over here. So for this corner, let's go up with spruce, take it all the way up to the tippy top right there, and just leave that there for now. Now, next up, let's go ahead and grab our logs again. Let's put them on every corner next to those logs, just like this. And then we're gonna grab our spruce and let's put uh, just a stair facing down into that right there. This one's gonna go around this edge like so. We got the stairs on top and then keep this going. So all the way around, just like so. And then we're gonna put our stairs facing inwards towards those logs. So this should look like this for now. All right, now let's come back on this direction. I'm gonna lift this cobble up. So from here, it's already a one. So let's go two, three, four. Uh, I think four is perfect. So let's go up by four on all of this and we're gonna take everything up by four on these cobbles. 
All right, there we go. We got that in place. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come back in here and give a little bit of texturing here just with some of the regular stone. Also with some stone brick, just randomly. So let's scatter this all the way around. And on top of that, we're going to go ahead and texture the walls here uh, out of some of the strips right here coming down in random locations. So let's do a little bit of texturing on these walls and the stone walls. All right, there we go. We got all our texturing done and it's looking really awesome. Now, don't worry about this little gap over here. This is going to be sealed up in a second by the roof, but so far it's looking awesome. Now, let's decide where we're going to put windows, where we're going to put our doors. Already got one in place here, so let's get it done. So right here, I'm going to knock down these right here, this little three by two area. We're going to go with upside down stairs right here at this level. It's going to be a small door like this. Also going to surround these in our trap doors, one and one on this side, well, two and two right there. Then I'm going to make a little bit of a step up, really simple. It's going to come down here with stone. I'm going to put two stairs right in the center, one and two, and then bring the stone out a little bit more, just like that. It gives you a little bit of an elevated platform there. And we'll get a nice little overhang bit to that, but let's keep it going. So over here, we got this set up. On this side, I'm going to put a, a double window as well right here. I'm going to get rid of these two, and then I'm going to go with some upside down stairs right at that point, so it has a nice little double right there. For this one, I'm going to go down on these right there. Let's get rid of those, put some upside down stairs, and we got a double window right there, uh, leaving the full blocks on the bottom on this one i'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of a back door over here so let's go right at this edge we're gonna go down actually right at this corner let's go one two three upside down stair right there and then we're gonna do the same kind of platform we're gonna go uh, but a little smaller we're just gonna go with a stair right here and then two full blocks on that side so let's leave that open for now and then we can actually put a small window here so let's go uh let's go actually with a single window and maybe a little texture right there there perfect little single window on the back now for this front part let's go ahead and and work this out. I'm going to put some upside down stairs right at this edge. It's going to be a little bit lower, but it's going to look really nice. We're going to put them right on the bottom side right here. And then on the top, we're just going to cover this up with our texture block of choice for now. Let's just set it up with our stone and then come back here, maybe give a little bit of random texturing. That looks good. So small archways like that looks really awesome. And now we have this set up. So next, let's work on the roof. Now, I want to work on the roof for this guy first. So let's do this really quickly. I'm just going to come in here with just slabs. Let's go with slabs right at the top level, this top level above this block. And just take this slab all the way down, just like so. Then I'm going to do some double slabage going all the way up to the center point right there. And then take this back down, just like up, oh, like so. Perfect. Then let's fill in the gaps in the middle just to cover this little space up. And let's take this all the way down. So our slabs are going to go all the way to the end. This should touch right to that log. And then we're going to come back in here and just cover up this whole area just in spruce. Really simple. This roof is going to be a little bit different, though, than the main roof, uh, just so we can break it up a little bit. It can look a little bit different, but it's going to look similar at the same time. So let's take this all the way up. And you notice that little part that we have back here gets covered up. And I'm going to show you what to do in a second. But let's take this all the way in. And if you notice, it also goes right to the line of this log so it doesn't really overlap it too much which is really really cool with the design so let's keep it going let's cover this whole thing up all right there it is so it's looking awesome now we're just going to go on the inside here and just cover up this little bit right there with some texture blocks and then we can come back in here and give it a little bit of a trim so it covers that up and we're going to do this all the way around so let's do a little bit of texturing here lift these walls up and then cover these bit up just like that and it also gives us a nice little ceiling design so let's do this real quick all right now let's jump over here on this side now for this roof over here this is what i want to do i want to do a small roof connecting over here so let's start this out and then i want to extend this bit a little bit more but first let's work on this we're going to go with spruce uh just on the edges and then we're going to switch it up and add some oak on the inside part just to break up uh, all the spruce so right here just uh, a line going from this edge to this edge and then we're going to do a simple step roof pattern just like this going all the way up to the center point once we get to the center, super simple, upside down stair and a slab on top, just like so. And then let's take this down. I'm going to take it down, though, with oak all the way down to this point. Stop before that log. And then we take it all the way down right here. Continue with the line of spruce in the center and then come back this direction. And we could break it up. We can make it look a little bit more rustic and broken. Uh, and we can do that at the end. But for right now, small, simple roof right there at this point in the back it, right here behind this little section i'm going to go ahead and just cover this up with some of the stripped oak like so so let's leave that there it should look like uh, let me get out <laughs> like that for now and then right here on the bottom we're just going to go with some trap doors just to give you a little separation in that lining there which looks really cool then also we're going to detail this a little bit more but let's let's get it to the next section now for this we're going to go ahead and lift this part up 
one more time. So let's take it up right here from this corner. We're gonna go up another one, two, three. All right, let's go ahead and take it down to this log, one, two, and three. Take it down to this log, one, two, and three. And let's continue with this. Let's go up and match the uh, the top level right there for now, just to keep it all consistent. Now, we're gonna come in here and give a little bit of tutorage. Let's go and just every other one is gonna get a log in the middle, up by three, just like so. This is gonna come back this way and this way. So right now what I'm gonna do is, let's cover up the middle section here with the stripped log and go up, uh, well, stripped oak log. One, two, and three, all the way up. And this is gonna give us just a little bit more detail uh, and a nice separation between the roofs. It's gonna look really cool. Uh, so it's gonna also have a little top layer for uh, the uh, weapon smiths to sleep, which is awesome. Now, we have this done, We're looking pretty good. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is go up one more on the corners, except for that corner. Uh, and let's cross beam right here. We're gonna cross beam on all sides. Uh, let's take the cross beam down to here. Let's take this cross beam down to this end. And let's continue and just lift that up for now. Let's just leave it at the same level and we'll keep going up and texture on the way up. And we're gonna break this up so it's gonna look a lot better. So for right now, we have this. Now, next thing I'm gonna do, let's work on the roof for this now. Uh, and for this, we're gonna do the same thing we did down here, just at a smaller scale, and we're gonna bring it down this direction. So let's go all the way down right here with our uh, spruce, take it all the way down, overhanging that bit. Then we're gonna do the same thing over here, take it all the way down, and then overhanging here. We're gonna go ahead and work our stair patterns, going all the way up, simple step just like so, and then we're gonna go ahead and pretty much just fill in the bottom, uh, just like we did in the bottom there with the oak. So all the way down, upside down stair, and slab in the middle. Do the same thing over here. Now this is gonna be a little complicated because we have this, but it's not that bad. We're just gonna overhang it over, and it kind of looks like that. It looks awesome, just to break up the roof. I love those uh, those chimneys that do that, which is cool. So let's take this all the way up. Once we get again to the middle, we're gonna go ahead and put our uh, slab, connect the two sides, and it's gonna look just like this. Now, let's connect these two sides and then we're gonna just fill in the gaps with oak. So let's do this real quick. All right, there you go. And then let's go ahead and take this uh, chimney fireplace thing up and let's go ahead and make sure it goes at least one over the slab right there. So just take it up to at least over the slab. Uh, well, let's take it out one more just to give a little bit more elevation over here. I'm gonna dram, uh, drop our campfire block on top like so. And then our trap doors, the spruce, surrounding that all the way around. So let's do this one real quick. And there we go, look how awesome that looks. I also did a little bit of texturing and then all the things you could do is come back in here and break up this uh, very flat uh, two by two with some stairs and that just adds so much. Just to add that little bit, add so much. Now, other things we could do as well, come back in here and let's surround this with the stripped oak and that breaks up that little area. And then we could do the same thing that we did over here bring our trap doors or spruce and just line this area out. You can even change those with slabs too if you wanna make it a little bit thicker and then we can do it over here on this side. All right, now that we have that lined up and in place, I'm gonna go ahead and do our typical little detail down here. Give a little bit of trim with trap doors every other one. I'm not gonna go with the slabs like I usually do. I'm gonna make this a little bit more just subtle detail and we're gonna come back in here, add the trap doors to every other one do it again on this side. So every other one going down like so. Also gonna do it down here, every other one until we get to the end. Well actually, let's start from this corner uh, and work it back down like this. So it should have this on the edge and work it all the way the other way and do the same thing on this side. So start at the front edge and go all the way down right there. That should be pretty cool. Now next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna add a window to the center, add a window to the center just like that to add a little bit more. And then up here, we could add another window, but I'm planning on maybe breaking that up even more. Uh, and then we can also put one more window on that side, which is pretty awesome. And then continue with our trap doors, every other one, just like so. All right, everything is looking great. Now what I wanna do is add more details to the roof. So for right here, we could add a little window. So what if we go right in the center right here? So one, two, three, right on this block. Get rid of these three and the middle one. Go with two logs on each side. Let's go with spruce on each side here, one and one. And then let's go with an upside down right at this side and just take that slab all the way down. We have a nice little window that we can actually repeat on this side. So let's go ahead and take these three out, two logs. Let's go with spruce here, one on this side, upside down stair, keep that slab going. All right, now let's do a window on this back side here. So let's go right up the center. So from this uh, right here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Right in the middle, we have four and four on this side. Let's get rid of those two. Let's go up with logs. Let's go two and two, just like so. 
get rid of this middle one we could actually maybe get rid of these two as well and go ahead and put just uh just some planks back there should do the trick a plank and a plank let's go with some spruce stairs one on this side one on this side let's go with an upside down stair here and bring this lining down let's get rid of that and bring that all the way down let's also put a stair right there of our spruce take this uh stair and this stair this direction and that looks awesome, adding a little extra window. On this side, we uh, really can't. We could go asymmetrical and go right on this section and go right here. Let's go up one and two, one and two. Get rid of that one, get rid of these two. Replace those with the full block that I got hiding right there. Let's go with a full block here, full block here. Let's go with a stair on this side, one on this side. Let's go with our upside down, one down here in this corner. Take the slab all the way down and just repeating exactly what we did on the other side, but uh, with a little asymmetry. Why not? Let's flip this up a little bit and change it up. And it doesn't really matter. It looks pretty cool, right? All right, now we're almost done and added the windows and some trapdoor shutters in certain spots, just like so. I got a big old open window right there, which is really awesome. I love that trick when you do the doubles there and just trapdoors all the way around, which is looking awesome. Now, next thing, let's go ahead and detail this little market section a little bit more by adding some full blocks in front right here of every one of these beams there and then we're going to put them in the back and then we're going to do it every three just like so and then uh we actually let's in the back let's raise it up by two just so we can get a little bit more elevation plus if i do it here i don't want to connect those so let's take it up again and let's put some stairs going up we're going to lift this up let's put actually let's go up by two on all of them let's do it all the way around and then stairs right above those uh, that we just placed so something like that adding a little bit more detail all the way around and that goes a long way and then we can come back in here and also give a little bit of texturing uh right here with just some stone and also maybe a little bit of cobble in random spots so let's go ahead and do this one real quick and then also what we could do is add some of these little arrow slit windows we could just go in uh and go ahead with some stairs just like so and let's spread this all the way around and let's also add one more over here on this end so a small little arrow slit so it looks like this and like this from the back which is really awesome and then we can continue the theme of having some trap doors next to the arrow slits so we can go really on both sides or one or the other or we can leave it clean you don't have to put any back here but i think it looks pretty cool just adding a little bit more detail and a, a, one more thing we could do is maybe add a little trap door here on the top bit I won't uh, you could add them also on the side and it also looks like maybe that can close up uh, but it's all up to you guys if you want to add this but yeah we're almost done now let's go ahead and set up some interior details here <laughs> And there it is, all done, interior and all. We have our lovely old weaponsmith here in their prospective selling area. We have this guy selling a bunch of swords. We have this guy selling crossbows and regular bows. And then we have this guy selling everything else. We have tridents, snowballs. We have the uh, the hoe of destiny over here in the top. Uh, we have a big old battle axe also, some shields. Uh, in case people die, you know, in their adventures, he has some totems of 
dying. And some flint steel. You can definitely use that as a weapon. Snowball. Don't ever underestimate the snowball. The power of the snowball. That's right. Now, <laughs> this is super cool. Also, the mighty uh, sea pig oh, of death. Uh, very cool. But let me go ahead and show you guys the inside. Uh, but I love the way these little uh, market stalls turned out. And as we come on in, let me go all inside. Uh, we have a nice little area over here. Look how cool. I hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse of me making this thing. It was a lot of trial and error, adding and placing and blocks were going in and out. Uh, but it came out pretty cool. Got myself a nice little sword here. Uh, and I love the separation, the little wall divider with the trap doors, a little kitchen area. And yes, before you guys go ahead and go crazy in the comment section saying, Salsa, you got a bunch of barrels, you can make fishermen. Yes, but I say it in every video here in the Village Transformation. Um, don't use them uh, if you don't want to, but I'm using because I want to. Right. Uh, no, but either way, if you lock your trade with that uh, grindstone, then that uh, weaponsmith will never change. They'll never change. Don't you worry. Now, we have uh, some lovely old uh, little bit of, uh, uh, you know, roof ceiling action over here. Uh, a seating area over here with some carpet action. And it's looking pretty cool. As we get up to the top, though, check out this area right here. Look at this. Three beds. Three people down there. They share. It's okay. They snuggle. It's, everything's cool. It's a, it's a friendship. Okay. Uh, but we have a cool uh, uh, backside over here. Look at this thing with the uh, the barrels. Yes, it's okay. You can use it. Don't worry about it. Uh, and then over here, a little, little extra uh, shelving unit. And it looks so cool. Big old chandelier. Uh, you don't really need that chandelier, but it looks nice. And then we can go out the back and uh, all the details out here make everything look really cool with some bushes, tall grass, and everything. We got some of the best um, uh, but deadliest sweet berries. Oh, I can add that to the uh the weapon arsenal uh but everything is looking awesome i love this build this is actually one of my personal favorite ones that we've done so far we got a little bit left to go and at the end once it's all done i'm gonna have a big old world download for you guys but for now i'm out let me know what you want to see next we got a couple more ready to go what are you excited for the most and of all of them that we've built so far which is your favorite let me know down in the comment section but i'm out of here for now thank you all so much for watching i'll catch you on the next minecraft video goodbye